Hi guys, it's Nespoo Queen of Cups Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the Poop Boos Tribe. So this is going to be a behind the scenes reading for um, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And the person that you are connecting with um, to find out just what, what's going on with your person, um, what they aren't telling you, what feelings they really do have for you. Just let's see what messages Spirit has. Okay, also guys, uh, y'all remember that I told y'all about my friend's clothing line, Space High. He got a whole bunch of new stuff. He also have a new clothing line page on Instagram, which is called uh, Space High um, SH. So go and uh, follow him and check out some more clothing. Okay, so we're going to cleanse so Spirit can come in. This is Palo Santo. So we're going to find out what's going on, okay? So, Universe Spirits and Guides, what is going on behind the scenes of the person that Scorpios are connecting with? What are their true feelings towards Scorpio? What are the things that Scorpios just don't know that this person that they are connect connecting with not telling them? So we have Trump, the chariot. Some of you guys could be connecting with a cancer. Okay, thank you. Okay, heart, um, heart and heartache and loss, three of swords. You're dealing with a Libra. So your person is hurting from something. Bad. Badly. And it's making them in a mood in a bad mood. Passion ignited. Ooh, I'm very passionate. Some of you guys, this person just might need to heal from uh, past hurt. Because they're very passionate about you from what it looked like. It looks like that they want to continue to move forward with you. Definitely with um, Rejoice and Celebration, which is the Three of Cups. Ooh, Heart Chakra. Yeah, so this person looks like they got a lot of love for you. They could just need to heal, um, move away from any heartache or anything that they went through from their past. But we're going to clarify. Yeah, so this person just feel like they they need a brand new start. Um, they feel like they have a brand new start because we have the Ace of Pentacles. I mean, the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, my goodness. The Ace of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. So they feel like that they got something very passionate here. Something that they, they scored with. Um, they could have been definitely um, hurt from, uh, from their past. And it led them, led them to definitely being single. But... They, they went from the 9 to the 10, so it looked like you guys complete them. Clarify Trump, which is the chariot card. Okay. So, with the temperance, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a fire sign, another fire sign, Leo or an Aries. So, this person just feel like they need to be... Well, they are. They've been patient um, going forward with you guys' um, connection. Um, they know that it'll happen in divine time. And they see that uh, this is something that makes them happy. Some of you guys, this person had went completely from a playboy, playgirl, had all type of options, entertaining other people. And I feel like they don't want to do that anymore. Look, three of cups again. This person really... They really feel this connection. 
tell me more about the chariot. Okay. So we got the Dove card, which is your energy. So we have the Five of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. So this person, this person could be fighting off the or you guys could be they could be or you you could be bickering back and forth um some of you guys could be even arguing with this person because this person tends to move too slow for you clarify heartache and loss but the reason why they move um so slow is because they went through a traumatic heartbreak. Yeah, with the Ten of Swords and the uh, Queen of Pentacles. This person went through a very betraying um, ending in their past. Yeah, they invested a lot into somebody. Wow, look at this, y'all. Seven of Pentacles, Five of Cups, and Seven of Swords. So they definitely got betrayed in the past, and they're not trying to do that anymore. So that's, that's why they're moving slow. It's the reason why. Some of you got oops, victorious. Mm, six of wands. But little do they know um, them getting hurt was something that was supposed to happen. It was divine to happen. See, they still kind of struggle with this uh, from this, this hurt or this ending from their past. But they see something victorious with you even though Something did hurt them. Tell us how passion ignited. Okay. They could be keeping a close eye on you, or they, this could be someone that's very um, younger than you. They real passionate about you. Not gonna lie, they sexually attracted to you as well. They see a family with you. Um, you make them very, very happy. Whoa. We're gonna take them too. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, you might be dealing with somebody younger than you. So with the Page of Cups and um, the Hang One, they're trying to look at things from a different perspective. They're a little bit stuck, a little bit. Um, but they're trying to be really gentle and be very uh, <laughs> uh, gentle and very soft to you they're not trying to come off as as actually putting their pain on you okay that's a heart chakra this this person feels the they feel the love so with the five of swords and the seven of uh cups yeah this person got options they got options but they only keeping their eye on, on one and i believe that's you they do want to invest in this. Okay. It's crazy. Early I said the Ace of Pentacles and here it go right here. So, yeah, they trying to release um, some toxic energy and burdens that's in their heart that um, they have to release that. And they're trying to very, very hard. Because there's some things that went on in their past that some of you guys, they don't even really want to talk about. But they want to give you this offer. Something new. Something new. That's what they want. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, they went because they went through a bad ending. Despair. It kind of get them in a depression state sometimes. Um, but they put you on a high pedestal though, so it, it's just it's this ending that had went on in their past that like really, really, really hurt them. It did. It really hurt them because they saw that person as their one, but now they're realizing that um is somebody else who is their one. 
they see they still have to get over this child it could be the mother or father of their child with bad health they was just it was they, they was toxic it was too toxic but they were tied and bound to it maybe because of children romantic feelings so regardless of the fact of what went on, they still have romantic feelings. New love. Mm. So this could definitely be something new. Like I said, they want something new. This could definitely be they want to renew this or they just want new love. And they found that in you. Free yourself. That's what they need to do. They need to free themselves from this ending. And that's what they're trying to do, y'all. They're going to make the effort. They're going to put in the effort. It's just going to take a little bit of time. Like I said, that is divine time. And with the temperance card here. Okay. Wait a minute. Didn't ask for all of those. Oh, hello. <laughs> so I'm going to take these, though. So this person, they could have definitely had some codependent... Um, issues when it came because of the last person that they were dealing with with codependency but they're trying to keep an open mind on this relationship or this connection they feel it they know that they deserve love and that you do too and you deserve all honesty they're going to bring that to you and getting to know each other so they're going to open up eventually just give them a little bit of time patience is needed here So we have if you believe so I feel like they saying if you believe that this connection is um, divine and that it is worth it then you guys should definitely um, remain positive on this I don't get any bad energy when it comes to this okay. get more information so you guys need to get more information before you uh, make a, de a decision a year from now so this person might be taking true action a year from now but you guys need to compromise when it comes to this connection right now it's telling you no need to worry perfect timing romance and this situation will improve so i feel like you guys need to put a little bit of more faith in this connection okay so let's see what advice Universe, listen, guys. What advice do you have for Scorpios? The sun, moon, rising, and Venus when it comes to their connection. So you guys definitely might be having, um, might have different religious uh, beliefs because we have a spiritual and religious community joined with like-minded people for friendship and increased spiritual growth. So this person might even be doing that. So we have clearing negativity. They're trying to clear the toxic. I think you guys need to also do the same thing as well because you guys might have some energy that needs to be cleared too. Release negativity from within or around you. There's many layers and dimensions to the situational person you're asking about. It's a lot. It's more than you think with this person. That's what I'm put. It's more than you think. 
So uh, be busy times and multitasking. Take charge of your schedule during this time and honestly assesses your underlying reason for being busy. Okay. So that's all that I have for you guys. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you like to book a personal reading with me, everything is down in the description box below. But let me tell you guys, when you book a personal reading with me, your reading will be done within 24 hours. So you guys don't have to email me and ask me, when is my reading done? Are you done with my reading? Uh, what, is, what is the time for my reading? You don't have to do that. It is within 24 hours, I will get you guys reading to you, okay? So, um, don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified on when I upload new videos, okay? So, I hope that you guys will come back again. I love you guys again. Bye, poo-poos.